All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us do the good work for today. Uh, our topic today is kind of uh, very, very, very high-tech, smart, intelligent, very deep philosophy, wisdom, history, all is together. Today you will be amazed. Actually, you will be astonished. I hope that not many of you will convert to Islam after you watch this video. Actually, I was thinking not even to talk about this topic because I'm afraid that what will happen to you is the same what happened when I did the seminar in India. And I told the Hindus, that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. 10,000 Hindu converted to Islam immediately. Now for all those who love dogs, I have a very cute story for you in the Quran. And that will make you convert to Islam immediately. Let me introduce for you first, this dog is very ancient. He lived for more than 300 years. That's why he's wearing glasses. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, all the animals, all his friends, when they saw him for the second time after a long time, they were like, what? Huh? They could not believe it. So it was like something you cannot imagine uh how important the story like people they have party for him uh, they like uh, they celebrate the 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 300 anniversary the 300 anniversary it's very hard for many of you to understand what we're talking about i understand because you are not educated let us go and see how this dog he lived for 300 years and even more that story can be found in the Quran, brother. Please invite your friends, share the link with everybody because uh, <clears throat> uh, I did not uh, announce the video to be on until 30 minutes before I started. So most of people do not know that we are going to go live. Let us go to the Quran, shall we? Or you like to stay in the picture? What do you think? Yes, 300 year, 309 years. Okay. Uh, 309 did not die. We do not know what happened after that. But we, we it's confirmed that he lived for such number of years. He was exist before he uh, the story began. So maybe he lived for uh, 400 years. We do not know. But the Quran confirmed at least he lived for 309 something. Let us go to the Quran. In the front of us, we have a story. This is the chapter of the cave. And the funny thing about, uh, uh, you know, the names in the Quran, you feel like you are going to the cave time. Because this is a story, people used to believe in it in the cave time. But they believe in it today, 2019. So look at this. Allah, you want to show us that he have knowledge, deep knowledge. And here, Allah, he go back on time and he tell us things nobody knows about what happened in the past. And I want you please to focus with me about such an amazing story, which is going to be astonishing for more, more many of you. Before we start, don't forget, please, uh, if you are a person who speaks Spanish, to tell your friends about our new Spanish book, uh, as you see the cover in front of you. Uh, post in Facebook, Twitter. Let your friends know about this book. It's made very, uh, the, the Spanish there is very good. And I hope people will enjoy it for sure. We have many books for those who they are interested. You can get our books from Amazon.com or Amazon Germany, France, depend on the country you live in and the language you speak. So now we go back to the story. Uh, when Muhammad, he always come to us with things, 
or let us say when he come to the Arab with the stories, we knew that Muhammad is trying to tell them that his God is all knowledgeable. Otherwise, what is the purpose of this story? And I would like to see any Muslim tell us from the text, from the chat, and if you like to call me, feel free. What is the purpose of this funny, silly, stupid story? Some they say, some they say what? Suddenly, look at the Quran. Look at the Quran. I mean, what this? What this story is about? I advise you to read it from the beginning of the chapter so you will not say, oh, he's taking off the most important parts. There's no important part there. Supposedly, this is a story. It's very well known. It's called The Seven Sleepers. It is written more than 400 years before Islam. It's a fiction story. has nothing to do with reality written by a bishop from Syria in the Aramaic language and spread to all of Europe. Fiction, totally fiction. About, you know, the purpose of the story is to teach the Christian, the Christian youth, that uh, this way it's like good for kids about a dog and, you know, so to teach them that we are under discrimination today, but tomorrow we will have a different future. You will be victorious with God. So the author of the story he made a fiction story. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran, and he claimed Allah told him about the story. So here, those Christian youth, who they are, uh, uh, they run for their life because simply they be accepted to follow Isa, and the king want to kill them. So they take a refuge in a cave. And then Allah, he made them sleep in the cave. And here the Quran even describe how the sun goes and visit them from here to here. The sun goes like, like the cave have an open door, look like a very shallow cave. And the sun goes and, uh, you know, uh, visit them from the left and visit them from the right and then it says you think that they are awake but in fact they are sleeping and then here it says and their dog stretching forth his two foreleg uh, by the way it doesn't say that in Arabic it says their dog he's stretching his two forehands specifically arms sorry not hands at the entrance of the cave okay so now we have a bunch of people who they are sleeping in the cave but the quran does not tell us what what this have i mean what this is who are they which country which land where this from what the language they speak nothing this is what happened when you are a thief trying to make a story which is not your story so there is a bunch of guys run away for their life they hide in a cave and they have their dog and Allah he made them sleep but look the dog he is guarding them at the gate according to the Muslim bracket had you look at them the Quran saying how do you look at them here we find uh, something is stupidity about this uh, someone saying لماذا لا تذكر المعجزة هذا بأن الله يقلبهم ذات اليمين وذات الشمال هذا بحد ذاته معجزة لأن العلم الحديث أثبت الإنسان وأثناء نومه يتغلب يمينه وشمال you know uh, uh, let me translate for you what this gentleman he said just to show you how shallow the Muslims are he said why you don't talk about the Quran saying that uh, there is a miracle here that Allah he flipped them left and right and science speak about that a human being when he sleep he flip right and left my friend I do not need science to know that I flip left and right all of us we flip right and left for a very simple reason if you sleep in one side the the you know uh, 
uh, you will get tired your body will too much weight in one side of your body so you have to flip I mean this is needs we need science to do that don't you do it every day it's like something from different kind we do not know I am a human you are a human we sleep every day don't you flip every day in the bed what you put your head in the bed you don't move until the second day this is the most silly stupid thing mr. Uh, mr. Uh, Fadi to say that this is a miracle secondly let me show you here something about the silly miracle when you see that Allah he is a flipping them left you see guys he is the one who opened the door for this let us go back when you see uh, when you say that the uh, Allah is a flipping them left and right okay can you show me where it says that in the in the uh, Fadi are you there where where it says uh, Allah he flipped them I want to see it can you tell me where Are you there, Fadi? Where Allah He flipped them? I, I'm, I'm trying to um, uh, help me. Where it says Allah He flipped them? Okay. When uqallibuhum that al yamini wa that al shamal. Okay. Well, hold on, guys. When uqallibuhum that al yamini wa that al shamal. Hmm. Allah here saying he flipped them to the right and the left. Are you there? What verse is the verse you are talking about? Just to be sure. Uh, Fadi, what verse you are talking about? Because I will make you read and we will love together. Okay, which verse? Which verse? Which verse? I'm waiting for you, my friend. Do you know? Which verse? I hope you will not regret opening this topic. Fadi, which verse? Hello? He's uh, searching Google, maybe. No problem. I will give him some time. It's okay. You know, because simply what he is saying is a proof to us that the Quran is a stupid book. And I will show you how. The problem is that Muslims they don't really uh, they don't read. I never saw a Muslim here read. When okay, uh, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, but my friend. When you that al yamini wa that al shamal, chapter eighteen, right? Okay, hold on, guys. Allah to make them stay alive. What he do according to Fadi, he flipped them left and right. He flipped them left and right. Okay, why Allah is doing that? Can't Allah make them stay alive without flipping them? Those people they slept for 300 years without food, and now by flipping them left and right, they will stay alive. 300 years they are sleeping without water, without food. How you can live without water for 300 years? Why Allah did not give us more details saying, okay, I used to put water in their nose and their mouth. You see how silly the story? So you are claiming that this is a miracle because Allah, he flipped them left and right, brother, left and right. Okay, what about the food? As long as Allah, he mentioned such a silly details because still they can live. They can live. But they cannot live without water. They cannot live without food. 300 years without water? When you sleep, my friend, you sweat, you breathe. That's mean you are losing water. So your silly God, he says to us, okay, I flip them left and right, but he don't tell us, what about the food and the water? Are you there, Fadi? Are you there? 
So your miracle proven to us that the one who wrote the story is an idiot because this is if as long he have to do physical act to make him stay alive as you claim Well, there's something more important need to be done food and water and that's mean that when the Muslim they say to all to us that if Allah wants something to be he say be is going to be here we go Allah flipping them he did not say be it was so what are you saying to me now Allah he flipped them like he's doing barbecue to, to what to keep them alive that's what you said not me okay that's mean Allah is not God So look how many mistakes we found in this story. Thank you, Fadi, for your comment. You got your God busted. Same time, look how as long you speak Arabic, Mr. Fadi. Can you tell me, please, the correct translation for this? Does it say in Arabic, وَكَلْبُهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَاعِيهِ Fadi, do you like to call me Fadi in Paltok? I can open Paltok for you. As long as you speak Arabic, that will be wonderful. Fadi, does it say that or I'm lying? And their dog opening his arms since when dogs have arms fatty since when dogs they have arms as I know dogs have four legs my friend since when in Arabic we say dogs have arms What happened to you, Fadi? You speak Arabic. You have no excuse. I want your. An they want to answer. I want. I need your help. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Since when dogs have arms? Hello. Hello. What do you mean, picture not clear, guys? Is the internet slow from your side? Is the internet slow from your side? Is not coming good? Is the is the image is the video coming good? All right. So guys, anyone who speak Arabic, he will know that this is stupid. You cannot say that the dog have two arms. When you say you have two arms, it means those arms, correct? Either we believe that those are animals with four legs, or we believe he have two legs and two arms. <laughs> the Quran saying, وَبَاسِطُنْ ذِرَاعِهِ Let me tell you why the stupid Quran come like this. Because the word here is not kalbahum, it is kali'ahum. Kali'ahum means their provider. But Muhammad, the dummy, he is a thief. He don't speak uh, Aramaic. And he is mixing things up between Kaliahum and Kalbahum. Kaliahum is their provider, their guardian. And supposedly in the story, it was an angel. If you go to the Seven Sleepers, which is written by the Christian Aramaic from Syria, you will see there is no dog in the story. There is an, a guardian, which is Kaliahum, not Kalbahum. Look how the difference is the dot, Kalbahum, and Kaliahum. Remember the old language, there's no dots and etc. So it can be the same writing. So Muhammad, he could not understand what this is Kali'ahum. He make it Kalbahum. But all of us, we knew that Muhammad, he says that dogs are dirty. They are nudges. If a dog even touch your dish, you have to wash it seven times. So how the dog now in the miracle and Allah suddenly, simply, he is making the dog live for 300 years. Are you there, Fadi? What happened to Fadi? Somebody give him something to wake up. Yeah, guys, somebody break an onion in front of the nose of Fadi. Are you there, Fadi? What happened to you, Fadi? I need your help now. You speak Arabic. Hello? Oh, that's it. He's gone. Bingo. He's gone. Like he, uh, he took a hike. Suddenly, Fadi, he have no comment. So Muhammad stole the story. He switched the word Kali Ahum to Kalbahum because he's a thief. Kali Ahum from their provider, their guardian, because it was an angel in the story. Muhammad, he, Muhammad, he made the angel a dog. You believe it? Because of his, his, his theft. You see how books can change things? In the Christian story, it is an angel, which is a fiction story. Again, we we'll repeat, this is not a real story. In, in the Quran, the angel became a dog. Hoo -hoo. 
And the dog is sleeping in the front of the cave for 300 years to do what? To guard them from who? From a king? Guys, a, king, a, a dog is guarding the seven sleepers from a king and his army. So when the army come, the dog, he will say, oh, oh, and the, the, the king, he will run. I mean, who believe in such a stupid story? Is it a king is chasing them and he want to kill them and he have an army, he sent his army after them? So now the dog in the front of the cave will protect them? By the way, I will tell you a story. This is a true story, by the way. Uh, once the army of Saddam Hussein was chasing me. It was like 600,000 soldiers, brother. 600,000 soldiers. And they are having guns in the Kasenkov and they have tanks. But then I went in a cave, brother. And then there is a dog. And the dog was sent by Allah. And this dog, uh, his name is Katmir. He starts like, whoa, 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 whoa. Saddam Hussein and his army, they flee. Immediately, brother. Are you there, Fadi? So, here the story proving to us that the one who made the story is an idiot. And this is why the Muslims go quiet now. We continue. Look, even the Muslim translation says that the, the dog in the entrance of the cave guarding the gate. Guarding the gate from the king? I mean, this is stupid. Who is the one who put him there? Allah? <laughs> Unbelievable. True story. All right. Now, we continue. Additional to the mistake where Muhammad, he fabricated the story, he mixed between an angel and a dog. You see, if we make it an angel, open his arms, that makes sense, correct, guys? Angel open his arms, which mean you know, protect blocking the cave. Correct? That will make sense. So there's an angel blocking the cave, protecting them. An angel can fight an army. Not a dog. And why the dog is open his four his, his two arm, brother? What exactly that we would do? <laughs> Any Muslim can tell us why the dog he opened his two arms, quote unquote. Uh, guys he said to me he said to me that the dog he have two arms and two legs since when look at this guy look look how they fabricate the dogs have two arms this abdul saying to us that dogs have two arms since when dogs have two arms and two legs so the donkeys have two arms too Dogs have two arms, donkeys have two arms. I mean, so what are you talking about? Human being, he have two arms. When you say have arm, that means he have a hand. Arm is something have to do with having a hand. If you don't have a hand, you don't have an arm. So what do you mean the dog have an arm? Same time, let us go with you. The dog, he opened his arms and you are now agreeing that the translation here is a false because you agree that it is says arms. So why the Muslims saying this if, if it's not stupid? Why they're trying to hide? Why did why they don't say, okay, it's arms? Keep it as it is. It's arms. So look what they did. They play with the translation. And now I want to ask Fadi. The dog, he opened his two arms according to you. To do what exactly? To prevent an army from entering the cave? Why he opened his two arms? Like what, he's standing his two legs? And he opened his two arm while he's giving a hugs for somebody? What does he open two arms doing, doing with the story? And the story continues. Then, Muhammad here want to tell us something nobody knows. Look at the wisdom and try, try not to laugh. Some brother, they say, they were the three and their dog is being the fourth. Fadi, you speak Arabic. I'm glad you are here. In which language we can say there are three and the number four is a dog? 
You cannot say that. You cannot count something from different kind as number number four. As an example, if we say three three white dog and one black dog, that makes sense. He is number four. But we cannot say three human and their dog is number four. And actually, in Arabic it says, We know, their dog. And the fourth is their dog. How we can say the fourth is their dog? Is the dog is a human to say he is number four? He is the fourth? Another stupid mistake in the story. But look at the story is getting more stupid now. Some they say they are three and their dog is number four. Some of them they say, others they say they were five and their dog is six. Some they say uh, they are six and number and, and their dog is number seven. What is this? And then at the end it says, and nobody knows their number save Allah. So what's the point of this story? Brother, in the Quran, brother, let me ask Zakir Naik how he can explain that. Brother Fitter, in the Quran, Allah, he make a trend. That some people, they say that they are four and their dog is number four. They are three and their dog is number four. And they are five and their dog is number six. And they are six and their dog is number seven. Please, the brother, tell them that nobody knows the real number except Allah. Look, what the heck? So what? What you? Why you are telling me? Some they say three. They are. They are say they are three, and the dog is number four. And some they say they are four, and their dog is number five. And some they say they are six, and their dog is number seven. And then you say to me, there's no one knows the number except Allah. Where is are you? Aren't you Allah? Who is talking? Aren't you Allah? I mean, why you don't tell us the number? Is that like a a, a code for a nuclear weapon? Why Allah don't want to tell us how many they are? Tell us. No one knows. Save Allah. Muhammad, he don't want to give the number because he do not know. <laughs> Imagine if the Quran keeps saying, and some they say they are seven brother and their dog is number eight. And some they say they are eight and their dog is number nine. And some they say they are nine and their dog is number ten. And some they say come come tomorrow. And some they say they are one hundred and their dog is number one oh one. And some say they say brother come tomorrow. And some they say they are one thousand and their dog is one ten. And some they say brother they are one uh, one million and their dog is number one. And some what is that? Now what what we get from the story? Why you are talking about their numbers if you want to tell us? And who care about their numbers now? And why the dog is involved in the story? And their dog is number four? Are you there, Fadi? A brother, sister. This is the story, brother. Is it proving that to us that this is the truth, medical? Because if because of Allah, it's not God. How he knew that information, uh, brother? But he did not give us any information. He just told us what people at that time they are saying. Some they say they are three and the dog is number four. Some they say they are five and the dog is number six. Some they say they are six and the dog is number seven. So what is the true number? A brother. Allah, he are with them. He will not tell us exact number because if he tell us, we will not be like reading a mysterious story. When you watch a movie, brother, don't you like the action? And the best time of the movie because you do not know what's going to happen next. So Allah will not tell you exactly the number. So you can be always excited. Uh, so Allah now is making me excited by telling me nothing. He told me what we know. He told me that some of us, they say four and their, their dog is number five. He told me that some, they say six and their dog is number seven. seven. We knew that. So what, what is that? What this is for? People, they start saying to Muhammad, you do not know what are you talking about. They are seven. Muhammad is not sure. So he said, some they say they are four and their dog is number five. And some they say, and hold on. Hold on. Guys, do you know that even Muhammad, that Allah, he do not know anything, but Muhammad and his followers, they know even the name of the dog. The name of the dog. Are you sure? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Ibn 
ابن كثير All right Here we go As usual ابن كثير Have nothing Look 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 at the deception of the of, of, of this cult Guys this is ابن كثير The interpretation of chapter 18 verse number 22 Became two lines Look look how short it is That's it done There's nothing about the name of the dog what the dog he used to do for a living. We don't know what, what happened. Let us open Ibn Kathir in Arabic and you will see the huge difference between Ibn Kathir in English and Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Hold on. Liars, liars will end in fire. You know, they, they, they hide it from the translation because it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Hold on. <sighs> Man. And our job here is to get them busted. Lying is a profession in Islam. <clears throat> hmm. All right. I want Fadi to read with me. Uh, Fadi, are you there? You speak Arabic, so you can be my helper, my friend. Huh? You're my friend. I will make you my friend from now on. I hope you will keep coming because we need somebody to speak Arabic. Read with me, uh, Fadi. This is Ibn Kathir. Hold on. This is Ibn Kathir in English. The story is gone. And uh, this is Ibn Kathir. In Arabic, let me show it to you. Do you have an idea what happened? Fadi, what happened? Why the story in Ibn Kathir in English is not the same as the story in Ibn Kathir in Arabic? Read carefully with me. قال ابن جريج يحرس عليهم الباب The dog is guarding their, their, their door. Because this is his nature. 300 years the dog is guarding the, the door. And from what? From an army of a king? Why? The king he lived for 300 years? Let it go. And then it says... Uh, and then he says, uh, according to the hadith, uh, angels will not enter a house, have a dog, or an image. Okay. Let us zoom in a little bit. What is the name of the dog, uh, Fadi? Do you see the name of the dog? And it was reported that this dog, he was the dog of the cook of the king. Wow, mean. According to the book of Al Hafiz ibn Asakir, he said, in the book of Ibn Al Warid al Dimashqi, he said, and the name of the hudhud. So hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can translate this. You think this he can translate? I don't think so because this is. Let me try. Hold on. That would be fantastic if we can translate this page. Translate? No. Uh, how we can translate this thing? Okay, translate to English. Uh, it doesn't translate because this is uh, uh, this is an image. Uh, image is not. Uh, it's like a photo shot. Anyway, it says here, and look, guys, how much knowledge Muslims they have. The the lamb, the sheep of Abraham. Uh, its name is Jarir. What the name of the of, of of the of the sheep of Abraham? 
Abraham Sheep have a name. Jarir. And the hoodhood of Suleiman, the little bird, you remember, he was the minister for irrigation and sex and finding you know, girls who have no hair in their legs for Suleiman, Solomon. And the name of the hoodhood of Suleiman, his name is Anfar or Ankar. <coughs> mm -hmm. Are you there, Fadi? وَإِسْمُ الْكَلْبِ فِي أَصْحَابِ الْكَهْفِ And the name of the dog of people of the cave is Qatmir. His name is Qatmir? What is that? <laughs> and they wear, and this is the book of Ibn Kathir, by the way. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. This is not me talking. And they wear in this agreement about its color. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? Wanna say something? What is this story about? And now what we learn from this story? What we learn from the story about people who Allah made them stay for three hundred years. I will tell you what we learn. We learn that the one who made the Quran is a thief and he's a liar. Because this is something we can find. You can go right now and search in Google for the seven sleepers. Let me do it. Give me a second. The seven sleepers. What does this story have to do with Islam? <clears throat> Hmm? What does the story have to do with Muhammad? How a fiction story became or become a story Allah is telling us about it. What is this? A clear proof and reference that this is A theft from Muhammad it's a legend it's a fiction story actually I can't say it's a legend because it's written for the purpose of fiction we know who, who wrote it so Muhammad he took the legend of the seven sleepers he put it in the Quran and he claimed that this is a true story isn't it this is alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet? This is a story exists hundreds of years before Muhammad, more than 400 years before Islam. Fiction story. Muhammad, he take it, he make it uh, in the book and he claimed that this is a true story and he put it in the Quran. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Why you don't make a videos about the miracle of the Quran? My friend, I have a book. I have two books debunking all these miracles. I have thousands of videos debunking their stupid miracles. And you are asking me to make a video about debunking the miracle. You are too late. I made videos debunking their miracles before you are born. And here we go, we are here. Who, who want to show me a miracle so we can debunk you immediately? Not tomorrow. What miracle of the Quran? Here we go, this is a miracle. A stupid legend became a story in the Quran about a dog who opened his arms. Hmm? How this story in to be in the Quran? Who is the stupid here? How we can accept such a fiction story to be part of a religion? And now Muhammad, he adopted the story. Not only that, he claimed that Allah talking now. The one is speaking here, by the way, is not Muhammad supposedly. This is Allah telling the story. Allah, Allah, brother, Allah. Hmm? Hmm? 
Many Abdul. This story alone proved to us that Muhammad is a liar, big fat liar. And by the way, chapter 18 is my favorite chapter. I'm so glad and very thankful that the goat who ate the the uh, the breastfeeding for adult verses uh, and uh, stoning to death did not eat this chapter. Otherwise, we will you know we will miss a lot of fun. I'm so glad that the the goat did not eat it. If you go in this chapter, you will find more stupid stories. And look here, hold on. And they stayed in their care, cave 300 years and nine. 300 years and nine. Okay, why 300 years and nine? Trinity again. Why 300 years and nine? He's copying from the story from the seven sleepers. This chapter 18, the cave chapter, that's why they call it the cave, because supposedly those guys, they slept in the cave. By the way, I slept in, uh, uh, many of you do not know what happened to me. Once I went to do camping, you know, I like always to do camping. So I went to the middle of the desert in Brazil. You know, in Brazil, there's no trees, there's no water, it's a desert. So, and I decided to do camping in Brazil. And then uh, when I was in the Brazil, uh, the camels attacked me, Okay. Uh, big camels they have like a big uh, big horn you know big huge huge camel and they speak Arabic by the way so I did uh, look around where I can hide and I found a cave in Brazil but the cave was in the borders of uh, Kazakhstan it was very cold there in Brazil very extremely cold brother snow is like crazy in the desert brother so I went to the cave, brother, and then uh, I have, a, I forgot to tell you, I have a very beautiful dog. Let me show you his picture. Very, uh, and he is very well educated. So he gave me advice. He said, you go hide inside, I will stay outside. If somebody come by here, I will tell him I did not see you. Muslims believe in those stories? What the difference between my story and the story written in the Quran? Hello? Yeah, there is a lot of cameras in Brazil. We are Arab. We are very good in geography. Ask Allah. Allah, he believed that the sun set in the murky water and the sun set in a place and the sun rise from a place. What's wrong with you? Hello? Are you going to discuss with me now, science? You cannot. We are Arab. We are the founder of everything. لا أظن ذلك اليهود قالوا للنظر what أن أجا أن أجاب محمد على هذا فهذا نبي حقا وفعلا أجاب عليها. Guys, look at look what Fadi he said. I like this guy. He said that uh, the, the Jews, they asked Muhammad, they asked him th questions, and they said if he answered the questions, he for sure he must be a prophet. Let us go to the hadith, my friend Fadi, so you will die laughing at what Muhammad answer. The Jews obviously are making fun of him, Fadi. What's wrong with you? Okay. Read with me, Fadi. This is the hadith you are talking about. Let us get it. Brother, brother, Abdullah ibn Salam heard the news of the arrival of Allah Messenger. And then he said, I will ask you three questions which nobody knows their answer unless he is a prophet. And now, Fadi, are you following me? This is what you're talking to me, right? This is the story. Let me show you how stupid the story from the beginning. How do nobody knows the answer save a prophet, but he agreed that this is the true answer. That means he's a prophet too. Guys, do you see how stupid a human being is? If nobody knows the answer for those stories, save a prophet. How the guy who asked the question, he know the answers. 
Are you there, uh, Fadi? You are the one who, who asked me to talk about it. Are you there, Fadi? Or are you eating uh, shish kebab now? How it says nobody knows the answer for them, save a prophet, and the guy who asked the question, he knew the answer. That means he's a prophet too. So now we have two prophets. Abdullah ibn Salam and Muhammad. What do you say, Fadi? One of the things I hate about a human being is this stupidity. A human being is really a stupid creature. Too much hashish. So we did not start the story and the story full of poo, poo And now the story is getting even worse. Hold on, we are not done yet. Are we? You just opened the gate of hell in your prophet, Fadi. And then, firstly, what is the first portent of the hour? What is the first meal of people in paradise? And what make baby look like his father or his mother? <laughs> and now the prophet, he will answer. Look, the prophet, he don't answer from his pocket. We have to be honest here. He told them, just now, just now, Jibreel has informed me. We need a background music for this. Like the guy, he just asked him the question, and Jibreel, like, so, like Jibreel is invisible behind him. He was saying to him, <laughs> Muhammad, he said to them, Just now, just now, Jibreel has informed me. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, Prophet, which means Allah is talking now. We cannot say this is a mistake from a Prophet. Jibreel has told me the poopoo -poo is coming. Abdullah said, Jibreel? Abdullah, he was like, what? Like who? Are you sure it's not Zakir Naik? It's Jibreel himself. Muhammad, he says, yes, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews. Jibreel is the enemy of the Jews. Why? Since when? <laughs> Let us continue. On that, the prophet recited the holy verse. Whoever is the enemy of Jibreel, why people are the enemy of Jibreel? <laughs> Let him die in his fury. <laughs> and then, <coughs> Muhammad now is answering. He says, as the first portent of the hour, it will be a fire that will collect the people from the east and the west what just yesterday we heard different portent of the hour this is the first one correct guys muhammad he just said the first sign of the judgment day is a fire will collect people from the east and the west okay hold on so what the quran is saying here is is that, is that a lie In the chapter of the moon, the hour has come and the judgment day is near and the moon is split. So I thought this is a sign of judgment day already happened. But the Muslim, they will say, Oh, there is a, this is not, this is was in the time of the prophet. This is a sign. But the first, first sign, huh? This is a sign. So how this can be the how that one will happen later is the first sign. Let us go to the hadith so we can love together. <coughs> Read and love how Muhammad he changed his story. What is the first sign of the judgment day? Oh, Muhammad, tell us about the hour. He lowered his head and he did not answer. Then they repeated the question for a third time. Muhammad, he will not answer unless you ask the question three times. Because he's thinking about the lie, he will say. Then he said, the one who be, uh, uh, okay, then, then he says the sign is the following. 
when you see a hard man competing in building tall this is the sign of the judgment day when you see a barefoot naked ruling earth barefoot naked ruling what Muhammad the Arab wear naked foot they don't even wear shoes when you see women giving a birth to her mistress this is a sign of judgment day well isn't it Abraham himself he gave birth to his mistress is it Muhammad himself he gave birth to his mistress according to Muslims what is that and look how the judgment day the first sign of the judgment day is not appearing here it's not there different hadith <clears throat> Oof, man, oh man. Uh, competing in building, which means they will build, like they will build high buildings. But the Arab, they were, you know, the, the people of Yemen, they have high building even before before Yemen, you know, before uh, before even Europe. But those are not Arab anyway. Read carefully. Allah Apostle, he said, the hour will not establish till the sun rise from the west. In the hadith, it says that the first one, fire will come and collect the people. Here, the first one, the sun will rise from the west. Do you see it? Different story. Hmm. Let us see. Let us see and laugh. Oh boy. Those all stories are fiction stories about the beast will come from the ground, but I don't want that. I want I want <clears throat> Okay. Let us laugh a little bit. We want to see what we can find in English. Read, read and laugh at the Quran. Try not to laugh. Try. Maybe you can succeed. What we will do with this? How Muhammad, he said that the first sign of the hour is going to be a fire and here it says a smoke. Any Muslim? Okay. What about other verse says that Allah He will send the beast from the ground? Any Abdul? This is from the sign of the judgment day. A beast will come from the ground. But Muhammad, he said that the fire will come and will collect the people. But here, the, this is going to be the first sign because as you see here, the beast have to come first because if the, the beast, he will come to make the people black and white. You remember the story? The, this beast will come with the stick of Moses and the, the, staff, of, the, the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. He will hit the man who is a Muslim within his face and he will make him pure white. And he will hit the Kafir 
and he will make him black but if the fire is collecting the people from the earth as Muhammad he said the first sign of the judgment day so when the beast will come after <laughs> <laughs> Let us continue. The first meal of people of paradise is going to be the 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 liver fish, the liver uh, 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 of the whale. Why? Because the Arab they believe that liver the, of the whale make you very horny, very good in sex. And now Muhammad he is promising his people that when they go to heaven they will have a lot of sex. Makes sense. And here Muhammad he made his biggest poo poo. And if the man, the guy, remember, he asked him, what make the child look like his father or his mother? Do you see it? This is the third question. What make the baby look like his father or his mother? Listen to the answer which Muhammad, proven that he is a prophet according to Mr. Fadi in the chat. Read. And if the man discharge proceed that of the man, then the child resemble the father. <laughs> And if the women discharge proceed or that of the man, the child resemble the mother. <laughs> Are you there, Fadi? You're a prophet. He gave you three answers. Nobody knows, save a prophet. You believe really, Fadi, that if you have orgasm first, your baby will be a boy or will look like you? Do you agree with your prophet? Or your prophet, he is being an idiot here. The Prophet of Allah, brother, he said, the Messenger of Allah said, the man's water is a thick and white. Thank you, Muhammad, for telling us. We do not know. I have no idea, man. That's a knowledge nobody knows. Only the Prophet of Allah knows. This is told to him by Allah. He know how the color of the sperm. Wow. And then the water of the women is a thin and yellow. Why the water of the women is thin and yellow? Why she have infection? Which of them comes first the child will resemble the parents are you there fadi you are the one who said to me that because muhammad he answered those questions he uh he you believe he's a prophet here we go this is the answer of your prophet according to which science and you are the one who mentioned to me science right according to which science they believe that if you have orgasm first the baby will be like you fadi be honest with me your child, he looked like you or like her, uh, uh, she looked like her mother. Be honest. Are you there, Fadi? Because now we would know who have orgasm first. Isn't it clear that Muhammad is a true prophet? And most of Muslim women, they have no orgasm because they do circumcision for them. They never have orgasm. Even the prophet wife, she said to him, do the women have that? Read carefully. This is the wife of the Prophet. She never have orgasm. Umm Sulaim, Sulaim asked Allah Messenger about. Uh, by the way, the Prophet he was in that time. He was a sexual consultant. He have a clinic for sex. And now a horny woman. She come to the Prophet, and Islam have no shame, no shame in Islam. So the woman she came to the Prophet. She said, "Hey Prophet, yesterday I had a." <coughs> <coughs> And I was touching <coughs> there down uh, my legs, <coughs> and I <coughs> I cannot say it. Uh, are you there, Fadi? A woman, she is coming to the Prophet to ask him if she should wash her vagina. And why? Because she saw a wet dream. What does that mean? She was having sex with ten guys. And look what happened. Oh boy. Uh, the woman she said, Umm Salim asked Allah Messenger about a woman who sees in her dream something like that which a man sees. What is that? What, what is that exactly? I saw in my dream. What I saw in my I saw I I saw myself in the beach. What is that exactly? I'm very naive, brother. 
The Messenger of Allah said, if she sees that and has this charge, then let her perform a bath. By the way, it doesn't say reform a bath. She has to wash her vagina. Umm Salama, the wife of the Prophet, she said, Oh Allah Messenger, does that really happen? <laughs> the wife of the Prophet, she could not believe that a woman she have this charge. Like what? Are you serious? Women they have this charge too. Muhammad he could not make his wife ever have orgasm and the proof in front of you. Otherwise, you tell me why the wife of the Prophet saying to him, Uh oh, are you serious? Women they have orgasm. The messenger he said, Yes, idiot. He said, Yes. The water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Do you see it? Obviously, you're a prophet. He never had sex with his wife. Before she take off her panty, the prophet is snoring. And anyway, if you want to read more about the crazy stuff of your prophet, I advise you to read my books, especially the last one in English, which are called Sex and Allah or Allah and Sex. Beautiful book, two volume. People are buying it like crazy, especially Muslims. You should see the Muslim comment. You should see the Muslim comment. The Muslim, they say, so are you using the hadith to prove this? How you can do that? So guys, if I, I cannot use what their prophet said to prove it, I will use what? What the Trump he said? I mean, look at, at, look at the madness. How dare you to use the hadith to prove such a thing? So I will use what? What exactly I should use, uh, brother? Uh, Obama speech? This is your prophet. And as you see, those stories are very authentic, brother. Mm -hmm. Do we have any beautiful Muslim want to say something to us? Anyone? Now, as long as we are in the chapter of the cave, I will take a peek, a little peek, and I will take you to the seaside. Me. Guys, imagine yourself now, you are Alexander the Great, which Allah, he told us his story in the Quran. Alexander the Great brother he was looking where the sun set and he found where the sun set you will not believe it brother where he found the sunset nobody knows those information not even America not even satellite not even the scientist what his name the Japanese guy I forgot his name hold on Yama Suzuki Toyota uh, Honda Yama very well known very well known scientist don't tell me you never heard of him the Muslim they made articles about the Quran science and they added names we never heard of them or even names who they are of people who die and they say oh that guy there's a guy his name Dr. Moore Dr. Moore Dr. Moore he said Muslims is it true that Zul Qurnayn he found where the sun, the sitting place of the sun, brother? Is that true? Who is a Muslim who tell us if this is true or not? Chapter 18, verse 
Number 86. Until when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a spring of black muddy water or hot water. If, 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 if. Uh, Fadi saying, this is how the sun appeared to him. That's a lie, Mr. Fadi, because the one who's speaking there is Allah. And let me get you busted, Fadi. Guys, Fadi, he like to get busted. What I can do? What I can do? Bad boys, bad boys. What are you going to do when I come for you? Hmm? So let me show you the comment of Mr. Fadi. And I will translate his comment. Why you don't post the same comment in English and Arabic, Mr. Fadi? Please help us, man. Guys, look what Fadi he said. And I understand, by the way, the pain of Fadi. He is trying his best to defend his book, but big failure. I think he will leave Islam sooner or later. Look what uh, Fadi he said. Ashamsu badat lahu kadalika, which means the sun appeared to him like this. Which means who? Alexander the Great. It's not Allah saying that. No. Uh, let me get you busted, uh, Fadi. What if your prophet he explained this verse? What you will do? Are you going to say you're a prophet? You do not understand the Quran, and he is a stupid. Isn't it you who said to me, the prophet, he answered three questions, nobody knows their answer save him? Here we go. This is a hadith, and all the narration is sahih. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey. I love to sit behind the prophet donkey. I love it. While the sun was sitting, he said, do you know where this set? Are you there, Fadi? Are you there? Read. I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Hamia. What do you say, Fadi? Are you going now to say your prophet was an idiot? And you understand the Quran better than him? You're a prophet, believe, and he mean it. So when the Muslim, they say, they make an article saying, no, the Quran doesn't say that. They are lying. Here we go. This is their prophet. How we explain it? I feel sorry for the Muslims. I mean, how dare you even to speak to me? You will get busted with no mercy. I don't even dare to debate myself. Right? <clears throat> هذا الحديث على فكرة ضعيف guys this hadith is ضعيف it says صحيح there how you make it ضعيف secondly the Quran itself confirmed the story let me prove it to you let us see how hard you can try read with me Abdul who is talking here Allah until when he reached the sitting place of the sun forget about where the sun set did Allah, he said, until he reached where the certain place of the sun is? Explain this one for me. Let us see how smart you are. How he reached the certain place of the sun. Allah is talking, saying, until, until he, don't tell me it is him talking. It says, until he. Who is talking? Allah. About who? About Zulqarnayn. Until he reached the certain place of the sun. Where is that location, Mr. Fadi? Where, where, where we can find here, where he reached there? Is that, uh, is that uh, Tokyo? Is that in the Mississippi? Fadi? The one is talking is Allah. The guy until now, he did not say a word. Who is the one he said until he reached the sitting place of the sun? Allah. Where is that? Where he reached the sitting place of the sun? Remember this guy, he have a journey of many years. He spent his life in the journey. This is not about one day. 
So now, finally, he, he, he went to a final destination. What is that? The sitting place of the sun. Where is that? I can see where the place the sun set from my window. Do we need to go anywhere to reach the place where the sun set, my friend? You want to tell me now this is appear to him? How silly. And he found people near it. Does it say, guys, he found people near it? Does it say that? He found near what? Near the place where the sun set. <laughs> so this is a certain geography point, a place. It's not a story, a metaphorical story. They can't play games. And he make it clear that he found it. He didn't say he thought. He said he found it. When you say he found, you are repeating a fact, a find, a discovery. He did not say he saw it. So we can say, okay, maybe he appeared in his eyes. No, he found it. When I say you went to the house and you found this, I am telling you what you found. You found, you, you, not something maybe you did not find, you found this. The word is so clear. But the desperate Muslims try to defend the stupid Quran. And not only that, the guy after that, he changed the direction. And he moved in the opposite highway. He keep walking, keep walking, keep walking for many years. And then he found where the sunrise if, 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 if. until when he came to the rising place of the sun. Are you there, Fadi? Where is the rising place of the sun, brother? I feel sorry for the Muslims trying desperately to defend this stupid cult. Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Fadi saying, when you say that the sun uh, set in a, at, uh, in a murky water, it does not mean it's set in Dubai. doesn't mean that the sun fell in a spring of water. What does this have to do with the question? I mean, look, uh, uh, what, is the, what, what is the answer? Don't tell me it doesn't mean. The Quran is so clear in what it says. He found there next to it. He found the sitting place of the sun. Stop playing, play, play. You're just, you're just fooling yourself, not us. It says until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Why Allah saying until he reached the sitting place of the sun? This guy is going for a years. What happened in this day? He found the sitting place of the sun. Where he found the sun sitting place, sitting in the murky water. Let me show you the hadith. Let us see now how you can run away with it. Hmm. The prophet, he said, do you know where the sun set? And now don't tell me, don't tell me that this is not a Sahih, brother, this is Sahih Bukhari. People will laugh at you. I was once with Allah Messenger in the mosque, in the time of the sunset. He said, oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. He said, it goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. That is Allah's statement, and the sun runs in its fixed course. The Quran here is explained by Muhammad. Muhammad here explained that the sun every day run where this where the sun disappear under the throne of Allah. <laughs> now, how we can connect this to the water? Is it Muhammad? He said that the throne of Allah is above the water. Yes. Let us see. Hmm. 
now we know where the sun set do you see it so the sun goes under the throne of Allah and the throne of Allah is above the water are you there Fadi are you going to say to me this is a weak hadith brother try this is Sahih Muslim the Muslims will eat you alive what do you say your prophet he confirmed the movement of the sun and he explained the chapter of the Quran chapter 36 verse number 38 and the sun run to its fixed course what do you say any Muslim hmm? let us show you the hadith <clears throat> So we can laugh together. Uh, oh, those hadith about shish kebab. Uh, Read carefully. Sahih al Bukhari. I ask Allah Messenger a statement of Allah, the sun runs into its fixed course. Okay. Who understands the Quran better? Mr. Fadi or Allah Prophet Muhammad? For sure, Mr. Fadi. It's proven that Allah Messenger is an idiot. Mr. Fadi, he understands the, the Quran and the, everything. I ask Allah Prophet about what the Quran means that the sun runs into fixed course. Okay, now the Prophet is going to explain. He says, its course is underneath Allah's throne. Prostration of the sun, trees, stars, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and he says, the Quran, is, this is what, by the way, two, between two brackets. Okay, and then Quran hadith did not mean like prostration but it's mean that those objects are obedience this is additional to the hadith this is not in the hadith and then now here is the hadith the rest is a fabrication from the muslims this is the hadith from here to here that's it the rest is a fabrication what else more hadith let us love more Crazy stuff, isn't it? Hmm? Read carefully. The Prophet said, don't tell me now this is Da'if, this is a Sahih Muslim. And this is the Hadith number. Read it. <clears throat> Look, do you know where the sun goes? They replied, Allah and his apostles don't know best. He, the Holy Prophet said, Verily, the sun the glitz till its reach it is resting place so the prophet he confirmed that the sun have a resting place why he call it resting place because the sun goes to sleep hello i mean what's wrong with you why you are so slow rest in place all of us we go to rest under the throne then it failed to prostrate and remain there until it asked to rise up again Fadi, are you there? Your prophet explained why the sun goes every day. Every day the sun goes from point A to point B, from the east to the west. Are you there, Fadi? Or you will say to me, this is a uh, wrong. Uh... Huh? Hello? Why we have only 628 people? What? What is today? 
Thursday. You guys don't come in Thursday? You don't like this day? Okay, I will not come again in Thursday, maybe. Maybe because the sun set in Thursday? You guys are watching the sunset now? What is the reason we don't have too many people? Ah, this today is a beer. There's many people celebrating the breastfeeding for adult. <clears throat> right? Any Muslim want to say something to us? Anyone? Anyone? Any two? What we shall say now? What we will do with the prophet making poo poo? This is your prophet. He claimed that Jibreel, he told him. Allah, he told him. He explained to us how the sun goes every day. But all of us, we knew that the sun goes nowhere. Any Muslim have a comment? I advise Muslims to go and read my books. All what they say to you about science and Quran, I debunk them so easy in my books. It's a disaster. It is literally a disaster. How in the world anyone can believe in such a religion? Is Muhammad an atheist? Well, the Quran says that Muhammad he was an atheist, yes. Uh, but I don't know, that will hurt the feeling of Mr. Fadi if we say so now. Fadi, what do you think? Was Muhammad an atheist? What do you think, Fadi? Was Muhammad an atheist? The Muslim, they say to us that Muhammad, he was Abrahamic. He was really since when? What is the proof that Muhammad was Abrahamic? Oh, who is a Muslim? I tell us, you know, why? Why the why the Muslim they say such a story? Is that a true or this is a fabrication? Are you there, Fadi? Who is a Muslim? Was Muhammad really an Abrahamic? Or they lie to us when they say that. Who want to challenge me to prove to him that Muhammad was not an Abrahamic and he was an atheist? Anyone? Nobody? What happened to Mr. Fatty? Is he gone or what? <clears throat> Any Muslim want me to challenge want to challenge me? That Muhammad never was Abrahamic as they claim. And I don't see Muslims. What happened? Hmm? 
I'm really disappointed of the Muslims. You see, always I hope that Muslims, they will be proud. Uh, you know, what we see from Muslims shouting, cursing, hey, Allahu Akbar, may Allah kill you, but nobody can answer us. If you go and see the comment after we finish today, see the comment of the Muslims. Christian prince, kafir, najis, pig, the dirty, filthy Christian prince. If you are a man, uh, stop coming from behind the computer, but nobody have answered anything for anything. Is that correct? Name calling. And they change right away the topic to talk about uh, why you don't sew yourself. Sew yourself. What does this have to do with the. Uh, like, you cannot answer me unless you show myself? Why you want to show myself? Do you know how the Prophet. Did the Prophet show himself to, to, to you? Did Allah. Show himself to you. Now, who is a Muslim when I challenge me that Muhammad was a kafir all his life? Anyone? Now, what happened? Guys, he's saying to me, as long as you know Allah, tell him about the Najashi, he became a Muslim. This is a fabricated story, what Najashi became a Muslim. There's no proof of this story. And let us say for the sake of argument, somebody became a Muslim, so you are a Muslim too. So? <laughs> Look, all, all the proof we gave him, he's, he, he changed the topic. As we said, he changed the topic, says, how a Najashi became a Muslim? He never became a Muslim. It's a lie. Secondly, let us say he became a Muslim. So, we just approved to you that your prophet cannot be a prophet. He's a big fat liar. And you are telling me, so why you don't tell them that the Najashi became a Muslim? <laughs> My friend in Islam, even watermelon convert to Islam. Even shaitan is a Muslim. Hmm? Let us show the Abduls that Muhammad was a kafir. As long as there is no challenge. Nobody dare to challenge. What we can do? Chapter 52. Sorry, 42, verse number 52. Hmm. What the Quran is saying? Guys, read with me. Is that me or the Quran saying that Muhammad, he know not what is faith and he know not what is book? Does it say that or I'm fabricating? Allah is saying to Muhammad, we send you the inspiration or oh, sorry we sent to you not inspiration our our spirit fast translation no inspiration our spirit all right and uh, from by our command and you know not what is the book so Muhammad have knowledge of nothing of any book of God any book of God any knowledge of, of about to do with God and know what is faith Muhammad, he do not know what faith, he do not know what the book. When I say that the man, he know nothing about faith, it means he have no faith. Correct? Any Muslim want to answer how Muhammad, he know not what is faith? How he is, how you Muslim, you say to us that he was Abrahamic, but until the age of 40, he did not know what faith. Anyone? Somebody saying he is glad that I'm making money of Muslim advertising. I don't know what does that mean. Uh, uh, my friend, uh, make, we make money to live, to survive. 
and you make money too and being glad about making money I mean this is very weird am I making money now when I sit with you for five hours talking losing my voice for free you sit there to have fun I'm not having fun I'm sick of it for you it's just a chat you go there I am the one who lose my voice I'm the one who get this threat I'm the one they want to kill me and you tell me I'm glad you make money from funny people who want a Muslim who want to answer me how Muhammad he was Abrahamic but he do not know what faith he do not know what the book so he was following what he have no faith he has no book so he was believing what Anyone? Why Muhammad have no faith? <laughs> no answer, look at them. Look at them. So they lie to us, they say that Muhammad was Abrahamic, when Muhammad had nothing to do with Abraham, and the Quran confirming that Muhammad, he has zero faith. Everything in this cult is based on lies. Any Muslim have a comment? Nobody? Just wait until we finish the video. See how many comments from the Muslims. You are a kafir, you are filthy, you are stupid. You are a Allah, may Allah kill you, may Allah burn you. And there is a guy, he always posts for us some verses in the Quran which I find them hilarious. Hold on, let me show you some comments. You want to laugh? You want to laugh at the, at the comment we, we get always? Hold on. Just to give you an example. Let me go to my page. Sometimes I cannot keep the comment because they are very filthy. Oh. Okay, oh, hold on. Let, I, will, I will show you. Let us let us read some comment together. Look at this. I want to ask you, the Holy Bible is a, is from God. Which part in the Bible mentioned Jesus, Son of God? All of it. <laughs> if Jesus is Son of God in the Bible, must have the chapter mention of Jesus, Son of God. <laughs> Here you will see that Muslims do not they have no idea what is the Bible is about. All the Bible is saying the Son of God. I mean, what chapter only? <laughs> Not logic. Bible is came from God, Father, or from God, Father. Forget to mention Jesus, uh, Son of God. Abdul, oh, what you need to do, go to the Bible and type the word, or go to Google and type the word where in the Bible it says Jesus, Son of God, and you will find endless numbers. I mean, look how silly they are. Look, this is chicken. Oh, no. <laughs> I might, I might I might jump from my window one day let us see the from Muslim <clears throat> uh. 
Mor. Let us see. Where is the Muslims? King Khan. Allah said that he, Allah, who sent his messenger with the truth and guidance so that it can prevail over all how much the unbeliever may dislike it. We all know that whatever is written in the last and final uh, uh, testament that, uh, uh, that the glorious Quran is final. Islam destined to master all. My friend, you see, the problem is with Muslims do not know the religion. Your prophet, he says, Islam will be left. Even the, the scars of Islam, they will forget the Quran and they will deny the Quran. This is what your prophet said. So how you say to me, Islam will master all and the Quran says, and Muhammad says that Bada al-Islam wa wa sawfa ya'ud wa Islam is taught as a strange religion and will end as a small strange religion. Funny people. CP, you do not debate in an open platform or natural ground. What, what is this? This is a closed platform. This is the biggest platform ever. There's there's billions they have YouTube. If this is not a platform, open platform, what is platform then? Christian Prince can never convert even a Muslim. Uh -huh. I have hundreds of people and thousands. Go watch the videos. Just search on YouTube. A Muslim left actually just two days ago, three days ago. The son of a Muslim sheikh, he left Islam. Is that correct, guys? How many of you was here? His father is a, is a sheikh. He called me. It did not take me even 20 minutes. And the guy, he said goodbye to Islam. Go watch the video. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Muslim here, he says, Khair Yusuf, he said, religion is a personal choice. That's false. Not according to Islam. According to Islam is not a personal choice. Allah, he destiny for everyone what his religion will be. And this has shown us that Islam is a stupid you know, Muslims are far away from, from learning about their, they do not know what their cult is about. Isn't it your prophet, he said, that everyone, Allah, he destiny for him, what he will be? Let us see. Uh, read. The Prophet said at every womb, Allah appoint an angel who says, O oh Allah, a drop of semen, O oh Allah, a clot of blood, O oh Allah, a little lump, O oh Allah, then Allah wishes to complete his creation. And then the angel asked, will be male or female, uh, which or blessed, how much he will be, his perversion will be, which means everything is, is written for you. You will be bad, you will be good, you, is that, you are not even created. So what, what do you mean the religion is a, is a personal choice? You see how they don't know what they are talking about. Not only that. Read this hadith on love. Since when religion is a personal choice in Islam? It's not. Even heaven and hell is not a personal choice. Read carefully with me. Uh, Muhammad here is giving you an example about destiny how Allah he make your destiny when you are a baby before you are created I want all the Muslim to read carefully show you how they do not know anything Allah messenger the truthful and the truly inspired said each one of you cre collected in the womb of his mother for 40 days 40 days F by the way 40 days as what as a sperm 40 days as a sperm in case you do not know that, let us confirm that. Just to show you how, how, how fast Muhammad is. 40 days you are collected as a sperm because you are one kilo of a sperm. Is that correct, Muslims? Read carefully with me, brother. Brother. This is your prophet saying, not me, brother. 
Okay. This is how Allah created you. Breathe carefully. The drop remain in the womb for 40 nights. Do you see it? And then it became a congealed blood for 40 nights. Muslims, are you reading with me or not? Do you really agree that sperm stay in the womb for 40 nights? What is that? Taking vacation? Is that a Ba'if hadith or this is Sahih? This is Sahih Muslim. We can show it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari. What do you want? All of those are Sahih, brother. So Allah, He collect you in the womb of your mother for 40 days. And a different hadith says 40 or 50 days. Actually, here we go. The Prophet said, when the drop of semen remain in the womb, for 40 or 50 days or 40 nights okay let us connect this one to this one you will be collected inside the mother womb for 40 days as what as a semen nice to meet you semen 40 days as semen science says that you can live maximum as a, i mean at the sperm maximum of five days and then turns into a clot muhammad he believed that the sperm will become a clot there's no egg and then look at what is important for us here the angels will write for you by Allah order all your destination. You will be bad, you will be good, you will be criminals, you will be blessed, you will be whatever, whatever, all is destiny. And then, and then by Allah, a person among you, hmm? a man among you, may do the deeds of people of the fire till there is only one cupid or an arm. Breathe distance between him and the fire. But then, that is written, which Allah has ordered angels to write between two bracket. Proceed, and He does the deeds of paradise, and He enter paradise. Do you see it? This is this is the most stupid cult ever. So look at this guy, this poor guy, actually this lucky guy. He is doing the deed of hellfire. He don't pray. He don't do jihad. He don't hate the Christians. All the bad deeds in Islam. He don't kidnap women. He don't do any of the good deeds of Islam. So he's a bad guy. Because he killed nobody. He raped nobody. He stole nothing. And then what Allah wrote for him in his destiny will take over and he go to heaven. Do you see it? So what do you mean that the religion is a personal choice? So why I need to convert to Islam? Because what at, at the end of the day, what is written by Allah will take over. <laughs> Correct, Abdul? Guys, are you, are you listening? So what the point? What the point to be a Muslim? Or to be a... To be a why, why I want to convert to Islam? As long at the end of the day, what is written by Allah will happen to me. So what the point? Look at this guy. This guy, he did all the bad deeds. He did not believe in Muhammad. He did not believe in Allah. He was uh, not joining Mujahideen. He did not join ISIS, which is a good thing to do according to Allah. He did not do. And then what is written by Allah, he go to heaven. In the other side, look, Muhammad, he said, and a man, he may do the deeds of people of paradise. That there is only one a cupid or two between him and paradise. It was almost there, like in the door, man, like almost there. Like he will open the door of the bus and he will jump in the platform. And then what is written by Allah will take over. And then that is written, proceed. And he does the deed of people of fire and he enters it. Like, what the heck? The poor guy. He was attending Zakir Naik seminar. He clapped each time Zakir Naik, he says something. Brother Zeta, the prophet, he was the most powerful sexual predator. And he used to have 13 wives because he had the ability. And nobody can do what the Prophet do except him. And even Aisha said, who of you can control his technical like him? Okay. This guy, he attend all the seminars of Zakir Naik. He joined the Mujahideen. He joined Al-Qaeda. He killed many people. And now, he's almost, almost in the heaven. And then what is written by Allah will take over. So what the point of converting to the stupid cult? What is written by Allah will take over.
Any Muslim have a comment? Who is the stupid here? And you want to tell me that this is Daif? Uh, uh, good try. This is Sahih Bukhari. Go to Saudi Arabia and tell them Sahih Bukhari is Daif. They will put you in jail. Hello? Any Muslim? Das, das, you keep repeating this. Come on, we get it, we get it. I know you are joking. Listen, guys. What about what about adultery? Why we do adultery? Why we do adultery? Why all of us are human beings? We commit sin. Look at this. Look at this. Doing adultery is not a choice in Islam. You have to do it because Allah destiny to you. Read carefully. The Prophet said, who said? The Prophet, not me. This is Sahih. We can show it to you from all books, from Sahih al-Bukhari, from, uh, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So whatever you want. The Prophet said, that adultery is what is written by Allah for you. Allah, he wrote his share of adultery. Read carefully, guys. Not me. I'm not the one who's saying that. I'm just reading for you even the Muslim translation. The messenger said, Allah has written for the son of Adam, which means all of us, mankind, ma mankind, his inevitable share of adultery. It's written for us. Oh, each one of us, how much adultery he will do, it's written by Allah. So when you do adultery according to Islam, you are not doing adultery. It's Allah who made you do it. I mean, have you ever heard of something stupid like this? So why you punish the guy for committing adultery if Allah who wrote it for him? <laughs> you know what I mean? Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? If Allah is the one who wrote for me, oh, Christian prince, in the day of etc., you will do etc. You will go and date a monkey. Hmm? Okay, and then why you want to punish me for adultery if you are the one who wrote it for me? Does it say in the front of you, Allah has written for the son of Adam his shares of adultery? Written, destiny. Whether it's where or it's not. Adultery of the eye is looking, adultery of etc., etc. All kind of adultery is written by Allah. So why I will be punished for adultery? Huh? Any Muslim want to say something? Fadi, you want me to call him? Is that your ID in Paltok, Fadi? Is that your ID in Paltok? Yeah, if it's in Paltok, I will call him, no problem. <clears throat> Any Muslim? What is this? This is the most stupid cult. Okay, Fadi, hold on. Let me let me open my uh, pal talk too. <coughs> let us see what Mr. Fadi wanna say to us. Let us hope he will uh, he will make a smart decision and he will leave the cult of Islam. Let me look for your name. All right. Okay, Fadi, I just sent you a text. Please answer. It says you are offline still. 
When you come online, give me a call right away. <clears throat> this is why we cannot consider Islam like even 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 as a cult. It's a stupid cult. You see, there, there's there is some cults. They are smart. They have. I mean, uh, I don't know how any human being can believe in such a madness. Uh, Fahim is a kid, you know. Before we, I, I, uh, he called me in Skype and he played for me uh, uh, Arabian love songs. You know, I'm waiting for you, Fadi. Yeah, it looked like he is. Uh, he trying to make a date or something. Fadi, why you are taking any taking you so forever to open your pal talk? Fahim saying, "Don't talk bad." Okay, I'm not going to talk bad. So we cannot read the Quran no more. Hmm. I'm receiving some messages. You know, guys, we want Muslims to call us. And the reason I want Muslims to call me, uh, because I want people to hear the Muslim answers. You are a Christian, what you will say to me? What I will say to you? I mean, there's no point. I want Muslims. We will give them a chance to answer, to, to talk, and to hear their side of the story. Right. So Fadi, what's happening? Why it's taking you forever? Are you climbing the mountain like your prophet to commit suicide? Maybe he was just, you know, making things up. He want to call. So, do we have any Muslim have any comment about Allah? He wrote your destiny to commit adultery. What about the sin of Adam? Was Adam? Did uh, the Muslim they say Adam was a prophet, which is very funny. He's a prophet. The first man was a prophet to who? Anyway, and what kind of a prophet he was kicked out of heaven? Look what happened. <clears throat> in the story of Adam, even the story of Adam in Islam, proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. According to Islam, according to Muhammad, uh, the sin of Adam was a fate. It was not a choice of Adam. Read carefully. This is Sahih Bukhari, very Sahih Hadith. Allah Apostle said, Adam and Moses met and Musa said to Adam, you are the one who made the people miserable and turned them out away from paradise. Adam said, you are the one who Allah selected him, spoke to him, etc. And then he said to him, do you, do you find that written in my fate before my creation? I mean, do you blame me? It's written in my feet. The sin I did, this is written in my feet. I have nothing to do with my sin. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this before? So even Adam, he is a victim of Allah. In the other, you know, if you remember, we have a we have a guy, he called me, uh, and he said, yes, 
Allah, he made Adam commit sin because he was looking for a victim so he will be known. You believe it? Do you blame me? Adam, he said to him. Do you blame me for something or denied for me? Or denied? Adam, you cannot blame Adam. It's a sin or denied. So what kind of religion say such a stupid thing? Adam, he commits sin? No, he did not. It was Allah who committed the sin. It was or denied. Or the night before his creation, Allah He decided that Adam, we will create a guy and I will make him commit sin and I will kick him out from heaven. And even in this hadith here, it says, Do you blame me? Read carefully, not my words, Muhammad words. Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? So the sin of Adam cannot be plain to Adam, it is Allah. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing? Or ordained, sorry. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing? So this sin is ordained to Muhammad. And it is a fate. It's a destiny. So do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? What do you say, Muslims? So, our sin, and we cannot be blamed for. So, what this hell and heaven about then in Islam? I mean, how stupid this story is. If Adam commits sin, because Allah, he forced him to commit sin. And we cannot blame Adam for his sin. And we showed you that Allah, he wrote the sin of every human being, his, his portion of sin. It's in his fate. So, why we are going to be punished? How stupid this cult is. Why Adam was even kicked from heaven? If, if, if this is written for him, where, where is justice? Adam based in this. And look here, by the way, we find that Moses, he believed in the original sin. And how the Muslim, they say Moses was a prophet in Islam. He's a Muslim prophet, but yet he don't understand what or how Adam committed his sin. Moses here, he believed in the, what the Christian believe, original sin. What, what is original sin? That because of Adam, we are kicked out of heaven, and now we are sinners too. You know, we commit sin, and Adam, the same as Adam commits sin. But this is not a destiny. So look here, Moses, he believed, as he is a Christian, yet the Muslim, they say, Moses was a Muslim. Moses, he died, and now supposed in heaven, and he met with Adam. How Moses will meet with Adam, unless it's in heaven? The whole story is stupid. According to Muhammad, nobody is resurrected. The first one will be resurrected to go to heaven. It is going to be Muhammad. So how he uh, is talking, Musa and Adam, they met and they have uh, this debate. Where they met in the grave? In the cafeteria? In the buffet? Eh, let it go. So as you see, everything in front of us is a madness. We cannot find anything in this cult logical, not even for a second. Any Muhammadan have a comment? Any Muhammadan have something to say? Madness. You know, sometimes people they sit like you ask me, uh, Christian Prince, you were a Muslim before. I say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second. Not even for a second. You have to be a really weird person to believe in this stupid cult for a second. What kind of God do you want to promise me? I would have endless penis. I mean, is that a reward or a punishment? So now I am in uh, in New York and my penis in the jungle of uh, of Amazon and those fish are eating it. What you would do with in this penis and how you can walk with it? Like what you will put you, you will put it in a train in front of you. 
Like if the penis was a tail, we can say you will you would drag it behind you. It's not a tail. Okay, now you have an endless penis. How you can walk with it? And what kind of God he opened for me Las Vegas? Like you know, there's a there is seventy women. They are waiting. What does that mean? This is scary. 70, 72 women at least. The lowest reward is seventy-two women. The lowest reward. What do we do with them? Rifadi is not uh, serious. Uh, my pal talk is on. He never called me. He never texted me. I texted him. He is not serious. <clears throat> Any Abdul? <clears throat> and not only 72 women, you will have 80,000 little boys supposedly to serve you. I mean, 80,000 boys, child abuse in heaven, slavery for children in heaven. What they would do to me <clears throat> the least of the people in paradise in position is one with 80,000 boy not servant suppose they are servant yeah but they are boys the Quran speak about them and then 72 women and every woman look look at this <clears throat> Uh, all the people in paradise, they will be 30 years old, all the men, all the men, they will be 30 years old. <laughs> and all of them, they will look like who? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? They will look like who? Who remember? I downloaded the app it is in my desktop double click nothing pop up uh, fadi guys fadi Allah is not helping him fadi did you say inshallah before you do that because your prophet said that the prophet Solomon he decided to have sex with 99 women and because he forgot to say inshallah before he took off his panty Allah make him have no child except one half a child and obviously, you did not say inshallah before you click at Pal Talk, brother. Hmm? Any Abdul? Anyone? <clears throat> But anyway, you know, like there is a good news at the end of the day. Uh, Muhammad, do you believe Al Mahdi is an antichrist? There's nothing is called the Mahdi. Mahdi is a stupid story. What Mahdi? All the story of this Mahdi is fabrication. They believe he is born from this from the, from the side of the leg of his mother. Why? Because no way Al Mahdi he will be born of a vagina, brother. <laughs> You see, those people who been forced to convert to Islam, they used to have their own cult before Islam. And when they are forced to a new religion, they brought from their cults many stories. The same as Muhammad, he, Islam is a collection of cults. Al-Mahdi, you are right. 
Yeah, from the side of her leg because, come on. By the way, my mom, she gave birth to me from her tooth. Don't you hear these days they say Bluetooth, Bluetooth? Do you know why? Because my mother, when she gave birth to, her, to me, it was very painful in her tooth and her tooth became blue. Since then, they start saying Bluetooth. That's why we say that we are the Arab. We are the first one who come with the Bluetooth. Al Mahdi, his mother, she gave birth to him from the side of her leg. And all the idiots believe in that. At least they did not say from her finger. You know? And by the way, soon, soon the Kaaba will not be the center of the Muslims. The, 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 the biggest visitors for, for Muslims now is Karbala. Let me show you. Hold on. Anyone knows what Karbala is? How many of you knows what is Karbala? Let us see if we can find. I wish I can play for you. There's live TVs for Karbala. You know? But they might claim... Look, this is the biggest, you know, most of Muslims do not, most people do not know. They think the Kaaba is the, best, the, the, the biggest gathering for Muslims. It's not true. The Shia, they have the biggest gathering for Muslims in the world. Look at this. Look at this. All those people, they, they creep in their belly. They don't even walk. They, they are not allowed to walk. They creep in their belly to go to the grave of Al Hasna Al Hussein. You believe it? Millions. Look at the grave. Look. Look at the grave. Covered by gold and jewelries. And people are dying to kiss it, to touch it. They beat themselves, they cut themselves with knives. Mecca is gone. Mecca is history. And the, 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 the Shia Islam is taking over. Shia, a lot of Muslim Sunni are leaving to, 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 to Shiaism. Look at the, and the mosque. The whole dome is covered by gold. Covered totally by gold. You see? Look, look, look. The Kaaba is nothing. Maybe we can make a special uh, a day about, uh, you know, about this. Do you see how they are covered by gold? Do you see it? Totally by gold. And when they go to this square, they don't. They, when they go inside the, the square, they don't walk. They go like like in their belly. They creep. No, the Shia are very poor. They are extremely poor. This is why they take uh, take advantage of them. What is what? Appetizing? I'm not sure what this word mean, uh, Benny Yusuf. Appetizing? What appetizing mean? Is that from appetite? What make people like it, you mean? Well, because Shia are, you see, there is many things the Sunni, they changed in their cult, and there's many things the Shia, they changed in the, in the cult of Muhammad. As an example, the Shia are truthful more when they say that the muta never been cancelled, and this is the truth, the Quran, the verse is there. The Muslim Sunni, they changed, but the Shia, they changed a lot too. So both of them, they are in competition, and they claim that you are the one who will go to hell. We are going to go to heaven, but uh, you know, but both of them, they have a lot of, I mean, everything they believe in is garbage. Shia and Sunni are not from the same religion. They are not. Like, 
we might say okay they are Muslim supposedly but they are already different as an example the Shia they believe that Muhammad and his family they are created from light they are not a human they come in the form of a human but they are not a human they used to be five stars in the forehead of Allah and then Allah he sent them from his mercy he sent them from his head as a lighting for mankind and they say where this is coming from they say to you we can prove it to you from the Quran you know the Quran says that Muhammad Siraj and Mudiyan all right chapter 33 verse number 46 so the Shia they use this verse verse to say that Muhammad in his family they are not a human they are light they are the same as Allah because Allah he compared himself to the lamp so they are created from the light of Allah and they themselves they are made of light but they come to us in a form of a human being but they are not a human actually I wish I can play for you some Shia videos you will die laughing I find the Shia sometime I watch Shia TV just for entertainment it is the best comedy ever as an example the Shia they believe if you wear a black shoes your penis will never stand even for the anthem I don't know if you have my book six and Allah you can read some a lot of information about the, about the madness this is why if you want to have good sex you have to wear a yellow shoes let us see how many of you now will go to the shopping and you start buying yellow shoes if you are not able to have sex with your wife my friend look at the color of your shoes here we go it is a black here we go <laughs> I feel sorry for you if you look at my shoes I will never buy black shoes never never no way What link? You want a link now for the, uh, the store? Get my book. Anyway, like we cannot find those really in English. I, I, you know, the 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 library of the Shia is not translated really, not much, very few of it into English. That's why my books are very important because all the source there is translated by me. How did Ahlul Bayt get killed if they all had a perfect knowledge? And you know, knowledge is very funny. I mean, they claim that, uh, I mean, if you read the stories about Ali and Al Hassan and Al Hussein, I mean, I don't know what to say. A Shia, la saluna. A Shia, the Shia don't believe in the Sunnah, they are Muslims. Shia they play taqiyya, you know, very much taqiyya, so which means taqiyya. So if you go, uh, uh, if you are a Shia between Muslim and Sunni, he will say, oh, we rest, love you, we are Muslim like you, but, you know, but this is this is just for protection. Let us show you some reference, even though this is not uh, our topic for today, but we can add some spice. To the topic but maybe it's better to uh, to make a uh, you know just a video about all right as an example if you if you wash in a in a in a dish or a container if you wash yourself from a container made from mud anyone knows what will happen to you who remember <clears throat> Nobody remember? So if you use such a dish, uh, uh, you will become a gay. I'm just warning you. You know those in old days, people don't have a container made from metals. I mean, most of people, they are poor. So they make a mud, right? And the mud is burned. This is usually is made in Egypt. So if you make a mud and you make a dish from mud and you wash with it, then, uh, uh, you know, bad things will happen to you. And the most uh, important thing will happen, uh, you will have a, if not you, your son will be a gay. All right? Let me show you some reference. Hold on. 
This is like uh, uh, the Shia. <coughs> Uh, from Ali, from Al Hassan, may Allah uh, 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 peace on him. From the Prophet, Allah pray on him and in his family. He said, the Prophet said. So this is you see this is Shia hadith. This is you will not find in the Sunni. Don't wash your head uh, with the mud of Egypt. He don't mean really washing your head by the mud itself, but like putting your water in the container have made from mud. Because it's going to make you lose your jealousy, which means if your wife you sleep around, you will not be jealous. And you will, uh, you know, uh, your children after you will be uh, pimps. You know, okay? They will let their women sleep around. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Al Kafi, variant number six, page number 501. Uh, and this is the reference here, more reference. Uh, and this is the same hadith. Okay, yeah, here in this hadith here, it says, if you wash yourself with such a container of made of mud, uh, it is going to uh, make you have lipper, you know, like those li li lipper. Uh, I mean, no comment. <laughs> no comment, right? Uh, you know, this is some of the stupid stuff, in the, but there is uh, English. <coughs> um, let us see, uh, let us give you something else. Mm. If you have sex with your wife from behind, your your son is going to be mute. Oh, sorry, sorry, not not from behind. Uh, if you uh, if you speak, sorry, if you speak when you are having sex with your wife, um, I don't want to go in details, but when you are going to enter, you know what I mean. I'm not going to talk more. When you go the entry business, uh, your then your son will be mute. Let us see. Here we go. This is the hadith. The book of a Shaykh Hadi Najafi, variant number nine, page number four oh four. It says <coughs> Okay. Uh, uh, be aware not to talk during having sex when you enter your you know into uh, because that will make your seeds be mute. They cannot talk. <clears throat> so if you are a person who is a mute, uh, that because your father and your mother, they have sex during the intercourse, specifically when he, you know. All right. Um, I mean, all, all those stories. And the book of Al-Kafi, by the way, is the same as Al-Bukhari for the Sunni. So Al-Kafi is like when you say Kafi, the book of Al-Kafi is the same as Al-Bukhari, the most authentic reference for the Shia. All right. Madness. So Shia, they have, you know, not only Sunni, they have stupid stuff. Shia, they have even more. A lot more, actually. Do we have any uh, Muslim have a comment? Al Kafi, not Al Kafir, Al Kafi. Al Kafi, let me type it for you. Al Kafi. Oh, I'm typing in yellow, hold on. <coughs> Al Kafi. This is equal to Al Bukhari. But this is a Shia book, which means if you read from this book to a Muslim Sunni, he don't accept it. Okay. 
Now, both of them, they are hypocrite. If there is a hadith in this book they like, they say we accept it. <laughs> you know what I mean? The same as the Shia. They say Al-Bukhari is full of garbage. They don't accept it. But the second the hadith is fit with their religion, they say we accept it. Shia or Sunni is the same. Don't think this is this is scary and this is not. Shia and Sunni is the same. It's the same. It's the same as uh, you know believing in violence, uh, because Islam is based on violence anyway. You see, even the grandsons of Muhammad they've been killed by Muslims. This is telling you a lot about Islam, the nature of Islam. The Caliphate, all of them, they are killed by Muslims, not by the Jews, not by the Christian, not by the Hindus, by the Muslims. Grandsons, the family of Muhammad killed by Muslims. What do you want more? Which is better? None. None. Both of them they practice taqiyya and they lie. But Shia, I find that Shia, like uh, let us say, if Muslim Sunni they like like uh, uh, maybe uh, eighty-five percent of the time, uh, Shia they are skyrocketing in lying. Like they are one hundred ten of one hundred lies. Nobody beat the Shia in lying. Like there's a, there's a guy, his name Imam Tawhidi. I'm sure many of you heard of him, right? This guy is a big fat liar. If you if you ever if you speak Arabic and you watch my debate with the head of the Shia in USA, uh, the, the the guy, his name uh, uh, Sheikh, uh, what's his name? Hisham, Hashim, Hisham, Hisham, uh, Hisham al Husseini, Hisham al Husseini. Uh, he was even uh, a consultant for uh, the idiot George Bush. So, when they brought him to debate me, the guy in the beginning, he starts saying, we Muslims and Christians, we live together. I mean, if you if you listen to this guy, he's talking like about the honeymoon time. I mean, at that time, we are having the debate, Christians are being slaughtered in Iraq. And he is making a speech about how nice and Christians and Muslims living together, brother. And I made him shish kebab. If you watch the debate, you will see the guy, his head is flipping. And then in the beginning, he was nice. And then he said, we are going to cleanse the earth from people like you. Look, look how they change. Shia. You see what the Shia do? In the beginning, Christians and Muslims, we are brothers. And then he said clearly that he will cleanse the Zionists. He accused me to be a Zionist. Anyone who, they, who say the truth is a Zionist. And he will cleanse Israel from people like me, which means the Zionists, supposedly. Uh, to see if the debate is still online. Yeah, it's still here. Yeah, this is the this is the debate here. I don't know how many of you did watch it but this is good for those who speak Arabic only you know if you see the comment the Muslim they were saying you guy this guy you paid him why he was speaking stupid there's no way this guy he know what he's talking about you know yeah we made him shish kebab no mercy this is him And this is the problem, since we have debate with the, with those people, you know, nobody dare to come and debate me. That's it. Like it's one time, one time mistake. <laughs> it's one time mistake. You can't repeat it again. All right. And then if you if you go like now, he started flipping his head in the at the end, you should see what happened. Let us let us move to the end. He start dancing his head, flipping, he is angry, and uh, look at him, look now. Look at him. <laughs> Those who speak Arabic, uh, uh, yeah. 
كلما سالت يعني انه هو ستوكن وات ام سين امريكا وتدافع عن ايران ونحن ليس لنا علاقه اصلا بالموضوع بايران هو من تكلم عن ايران نحن نتكلم عن القران واذ به يقفز الى ايران ثم تقول انكم دين سلام اليست الايه في القران تقول ولا تهنوا ولا ادعوا الى السلم وانتم الاعلون بمعنى انكم لا تقبلون السلم and the funny guys he is a muslim sheikh he cannot speak good arabic classic arabic i'm speaking a classic professional arabic he is the sheikh who do not know how to speak it i am not a sheikh and i am speaking in a classic those who speak arabic they can listen so they are no match they are no match in any mean in any way and the guy he went so crazy and is at the end suddenly he want to destroy all the christians the the zionist i am a zionist and he they will clean israel from us uh you know yeah في هذا الابتلاء اولا مساحتي جدا ضيقه ليش لان هو يهاجم نبي وانا احب نبيه لا هي سين اي كانت اي كانت ريفيوت هيم اي كانت اتاك باك بيكوز هي از اتاكينج ماي بروفيت بات اي لاف هيز بروفيت فاذا لا استطيع ان اقذف نبيه مثل هي كانت انسر يو نو لوك ات ذا اكسكيوز تقيه شيعة ذا ار شيعة You attack a Christianity days and night, and now in TV you cannot attack Christianity no more. This is what they do day and night, and now in the debate you are coming to a debate and you are saying to me, I cannot answer you back. And why? Because he loved my prophet. <laughs> oh boy, cry. Cry, cry. ليس بعادل لأن نبينا محمد فتريدني أن أستسلم إلى إلى كفرك إلى حقدك إلى نقافك إلى نفاقك إلى صهيونيتك يا أخي ما هذه المزعطة ما هذه المهزلة والله إنه ظلم اللهم إشهد على كل حال أنا أدافع عن مبادئ عيسى ومبادئ موسى ومبادئ <تصفيق> Anyway, those who speak Arabic, they can watch and they can laugh. All right, guys, anything else? Anything else? And the funny, uh, ABN, this is why I did not go in their TV anymore. Because each time they bring me somebody, they call me for, for the first 15 minutes before we go in the in the debate and say, please, good some friends, please, please, be nice to him. Please, don't be too much. I said, so why are you bringing me? And then I send them email. I said, don't ever contact me again. I'm done. I'm done. You know, like they bring you to debate a Muslim and they don't want you to debate him. What do you mean be nice? They want him to come back and they are afraid he will never come back. I don't care if he come back or not. I am here to get him busted. Yeah, the the, the debate name, Muhammad. Uh, actually, the, the video appeared in two places, I think. This is their main channel. Not main channel. Yeah, you can search. Maybe you can search in English first. Christian Prince verse. Oh, but this is one is thirteen minute only. This one here, Al Muhammad, uh, Nabi Yaman and Allah, was Muhammad a prophet from Allah? All right. Yeah. But this is not ABN TV uh, channel. This is somebody else that will know it. All right, guys. Uh, can you show more hadith of Al-Kafi? The whole Kafi is a joke. Everything there. You know, which hadith I will show you. <coughs> Your name is Al-Mahdi, right? The guy who's asking me, are you a Muslim? Do you know that Al-Mahdi is going to appear in the judgment day uh, and he is going to be naked? He will appear in the front of the sun in the sky and he is totally naked. Do you know that? The guy who called himself Al-Mahdi? Are you a Shia, my friend? Al-Mahdi? Where is the guy? His name is Al-Mahdi. Are you a Shia?
he will appear in the sky and he is wearing no clothes and he will appear in the front of the sun like he is in the sky the sun behind him and you can like uh, you can imagine the, the effect I don't know why uh, you are a Shia okay let me find you the hadith then uh, Let us see. All right. You see, I don't want to show you from a place which is not Shia. This is a Shia website. It's called Yah Hussein. Oh, Hussein. All right. Do you see the the Shia the website? Yeah, Hussein. All right. How? Uh, okay. How the Mahdi? He will be. Uh, he will be known. Let us see. Read the reference with me. Uh, the book of Haqq al Yaqeen li Muhammad al Baqir al Majlisi, page number 347. Inna min alamati dhuhur al Mahdi, and the Hosayadahar Ariyan Amama Kors al Shams. Do you see it? Did you see it, Mr. Mahdi? As long as you are a Shia? Let me see if I can get you more official links for this. <clears throat> but anyway, it's that's enough. I mean, the same story. Uh, what is the sign of somebody who is an imam, according to the Shia? Which is very funny. He will be born, and he have no peace in his penis. Which means he is circumcised, and if he if he fell in the ground, he will fail in his bum, not in his side or you know. Um, and his eyes never sleep. I'm, I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, and if and his uh, and his uh, and his fart and his piss is like musk, like perfume. Let me see if I can find you that. There is endless of stupid stories, you know. I mean, all right, this is from Al Kafi. As long as you like Al Kafi. <laughs> And here, all uh, all these stories are sexual, as you see. But let us go to where. Read with me carefully. Uh, 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 Mahdi, are you there? Where is the guy, Mahdi? Do you know Arabic, Mahdi, or you don't know? Because if I don't know Arabic, I'm wasting my time. Read with me. The ten signs of the Imam. He will be born, and he is circumcised already. No, you don't see the screen. Hold on. He will be born, and he is circumcised already. And if he fail, he fail in his ass. And, uh, uh, and when he fail in his ass, he will say shahada right away. And then he will never have, he will never be dirty from orgasm. 
and when he sleep his heart never sleep he never yawn and he never like what I don't know what they call it in English like when you yawn or and you like uh, extend your arm like uh, you know what I mean I don't know what, what they call it in English I have no idea you know so he don't yawn and he don't he don't extend his arms like you know and then he can see what is behind him and he can see what is in front of him and his piss and his fart is the same as musk are you there Mahdi and this is the book of Al-Kafi here we go this is uh, uh, Al-Kafi Al-Shaykh Al-Kilani volume number one page number 288 and you know what let me see if I can translate the page in English uh, you open it in Google uh, okay here, here we go let us see the translation how it's going to be I don't know if the translation will come good or not but we will try read carefully the 10 signs uh, about the Imam is born a cleansed uh, not true a translation not correct it uh, he will be circumcised <laughs> sealed <laughs> and if he fail uh, upon uh, uh, in the ground uh, on his comfort doesn't say that it says his ass like his uh, bum and he rise in his face saying the shahada certificate shahada you know like the second he fell in his ass right away shahada will come like okay and then he sleep yeah but his eye by his eyes but his heart is awake he do not know do yawn and does not you know extend his arms like you know and uh, uh, when he do fart uh, his fart it's proceeding on his piss is like smell like a musk do you see it are you there Mahdi this is your books this is your this is your uh, the same as al-Bukhari for the Sunni do you really believe in this Mahdi what do you think By the way, you know, uh, 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 when I fart too, my fart uh, smell like musk. Uh, actually, I'm thinking to sell some of it in uh, an Amazon or some stuff, you know. Do you really believe in this, Mahdi? What do you think? Use your brain, you know. Use your brain. Obviously, this is, I mean, the, the Shia, they come with millions of stories. Obviously, they worship those uh, uh, Muhammad family. They create a religion of worshiping a bunch of the, Muhammad and his family. This is what the, what Shia is about. The Sunni, they focus on worshiping Muhammad. They make him, they favor him upon God. The Shia, they have a corporation. Muhammad and his family, and you know, corporation. It's, it's, a, it's a gang, mafia. Any Shia want to say something? Who won the link? Who won the link? But I don't know if it's going to open for you because this is now translation. If you want, I can give it to you, no problem. But let us see if it's going to go through. Is it coming? I don't know if it's going to open for you in English or in uh, in Arabic. But however, if if it's open in English in Arabic, you can click at the page, and then click at translate. You know how to do that, right? And then Google will choose the language you choose to translate some Sunni believe Jesus is a greater than Muhammad no that, and this is not true not a single Sunni believe in that D did the link come to you did you receive the link I posted is it is it open or doesn't work okay yeah you can click at the page uh, you click at the page in the background of the page here and then you can you can choose to translate you know you can choose to translate and it's at the end you go down and here you will see another funny story you know about sexuality a woman having sex whatever blah 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 not this 
garbage in, garbage out. Any Abdul? No one? Let me let me find you the one about uh, the yellow shoes. Hold on, yellow shoes. And by the way, many of the the Shia they believe in every word is written there. It's not like a, uh, you know, they believe in it strongly. Um, here we go. This is the book of Wasail Shia. It's the same as Al, Al Kafi too. I hope Mr. Al Mahdi is is listening and reading with us. It says here. Oh, this one is not about the sex. Hold on. Uh, maybe. Okay, I think maybe the second page. Anyway, this is the book of Wasail uh, Shia by Al Hur Al Amili, volume number five, page number sixty nine. And here it says the one who wear uh, yellow shoes. There's a three three things like three uh, favorable things will happen to him. What are they? Let us see the page after, page number seventy. It says it make your vision clear, and will make your penis straight and strong, and is going to kill your worry. Let us try a chat. You know, translate the page. So three things will happen if you wear yellow shoes. What is number one? Uh, it uh, it clear your vision, and then muscle your penis. You see here it doesn't say the word penis. Did not translate correctly. So it it muscle your penis. Your penis would be very powerful. You can break concrete with it, or if you have like a walnut, you want to break it. You can use your penis, and then. Uh, will will kill all the concern you have in your life. This is all because you wear uh, yellow shoes. I don't know how many of you wear yellow shoes, but I hope women they will not wear yellow shoes because okay, the women she don't have a penis. What will happen? They will grow one. Are you there, El Mahdi? Uh, too bad the translation is not really good, you know. But Google what you can do. Yeah, if you have your shoes, uh, your penis will be very powerful and your vision will be uh, good. So why my eyes is so good? I mean, I can read a number from the end of far away. But I don't wear, I don't wear yellow shoes. Huh. Not sure. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for now. And we try to. Uh, I will. I will try to come tomorrow. Did you? Did we have a good time, guys? Now I want to see how many of you tomorrow will come here wearing your yellow shoes, especially men. I don't want to see women wearing yellow shoes. <laughs> Otherwise, you will grow something you don't want to be there. Uh, that's not a good news for you. All right. So let us see how many of you will jump in his car immediately, and he will go and uh, just. Uh, Buy yellow shoes, you know. And the funny, the funny, I look at Nasrallah, the 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 leader of the Shia in Lebanon. He don't wear yellow shoes. I never saw any Imam wearing yellow shoes. So, why you don't wear yellow shoes?
uh, let me give you the link here but as you see the translation is not good let me switch to the original page and then you can at least you have the original one in Arabic uh, even even YouTube did not allow it to go through because the, the, the link was so long but anyway this is the Arabic one Oh, did not go through too. Hold on. <clears throat> I guess because it has Arabic, and Arabic make it, yeah, it doesn't go through. All right. Anyway, guys, don't forget to download the videos. As you know, we don't keep them. Download them, share them. You can cut them pieces. We have we spoke about many many topic. You don't need to make them all one long video you can download the video as one piece and then you can cut it and post make it many videos and that will be easier for people to uh, to learn and to understand and I, I assure you many of the Muslims who watch their video our videos in the beginning they they reject they fight they get angry but they will see okay this guy is showing us everything in front of us correct everything is there I mean he's not lying where he lie He's shown us in the screen what he is reading from our website. Those sites are printed, published, paid by Muslims. What do you want more? From their books. So, uh, in the beginning, they might be angry and etc. Uh, but then, they will give up. This person is saying nothing except what is written in our books. And this is why I say don't be angry from them when they get upset from you because they are, in, they are struggling. The more they are angry, the more they are in struggle, not because they are comfortable. Because they could not believe it that their book is full of this garbage. So they go in a stage of a denial and they think by screaming, by shouting, by calling names, by making death threat, they think they can stop what is in their head. It's already in their head. And they are like, okay, I'm not going to listen to this. You know? But, you know, they try to resist, but it's not going to work. At the end of the day, we are saying nothing but the truth. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. And I hope I will be able to come tomorrow. If not, by the day after. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. And as you see, what we do here is a free school for everybody. And everybody is welcome to invite his friends and learn. Take notes, save reference. Anytime you find something in the screen, you think it's a good reference for you to save, it's very easy. Uh, pause the video, type the exact words, especially we're talking about English. Type the exact words you see in the screen, like five or six of them. In Google, you will find the reference immediately. It's very easy. All right? So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And Christ is Lord. Islam is nothing but a stupid fairy tale stories, and we prove it every day. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.